Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are touring a very exciting island inspired by the anime One Piece. This is the island of Wano, which is full of unsavory pirates and also includes a flower capital, which is absolutely beautiful. If I was a pirate, I'd certainly stay here. The creator here is Clumsy Taco and is cosplaying as the main character Luffy, though of course she says this is her island and she is the captain, and the rest of the Straw Hat crew are here as well. Thank you for so many outfit choices! I decided to use the little flower basket too, it's so cute! Before I forget, I have to mention that all the character outfit designs are made by the creator. I totally forgot to check the portal, but she did mention there are other designs on there too, so I'll leave the codes below. And here is Clumsy Taco. <laughs> yes, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I'm so in love with the use of the mermaid items and how pretty the purple theme is. So we are coming up to the pirate houses through these gorgeous flower fields. All these houses are amazingly decorated, but I'm only going to show a couple of important rooms in this video.
I also love how they all have their wanted posters outside their houses. This is Yusop's house, which also doubles as a funeral home. I visited every single room and the walls are filled with these photos. This room though is filled with the villages that have stayed on the island, but these are also representing Usopp's large amounts of warriors he apparently commands and so the creator thought it would be funny to line the walls with photos of these so-called warriors. They look very intimidating. <laughs> And down in the basement we have a graveyard, these poor villages. This is what happens when you share an island with pirates. This is Sanji's home. This is a wedding venue which is referenced to part of the story where apparently he needs to be saved from getting married. This also doubles as the venue the creator got married in. Congratulations Clumsy Taco on your wedding day and I'm so glad nobody had to save you. <laughs> The rest of this house is amazing and worth checking out, so make sure you come and explore this island for yourself. But for now, we are moving on to the outdoor wedding area. So this is the back entrance to the village. I love how everyone has their own photo put at the front of their house and the houses have beautiful courtyards to match their personality and colours.
This is one of my favorites because it's Molly's house and I also love the green mum's flower wreath. I'm so jealous that I don't have that recipe. <laughs> Down the stairs we have the Able sisters with some cute outfits and nooks on the other side. How pretty are the views from between the bridges? This is such a unique way of decorating and it makes such a statement piece. So we are travelling back to the entrance and heading towards resident services. I always love the olden post office vibe. So dark and antique looking. And I love the lined up mailboxes. This is genius. So up the stairs is the Japanese inspired area. Honestly, never seen a Zen rock garden done so well with the lines in the sand and everything. This is Zoro's home, which is going to have a dojo incorporated soon, so make sure you follow the island creator on Instagram to see all the updates.
is an amazing view of the flower capital. If you have watched One Piece or just Google it, you'll see the amazing resemblance to the flower capital with the red bridges and the tall tower. It's such a pretty outlook. I love this little campsite and the crystals on the umbrellas is genius as it leads into a cave. A Japanese theme is never complete without some crowded marketplaces. I just love these flower fields. They've used Mario blocks to create a bridge too. The butterflies on top are a great feature as well. So to get to the other side of the beach, we have to use the Mario pipe, which is always fun. I believe this is Robin's home, and there are some plans for this area in the works, so keep an eye out for that.
is Nami's area. At the entrance we have orange trees to represent her tangerine grove. And the tomb and pinwheel represent her mother and father figures, which I love. It's always the small details that make an island special. is absolutely amazing. This is the main pirate room and I just adore it. I love this flooring with the gold everywhere. This island was so much fun to explore, I hope you enjoyed it too. Thanks so much to the island creator, Clumsy Taco. I love that name by the way. And all her links and dream address are down below. So make sure you follow her on Instagram because she has a lot more references and plans for this island to come. Be sure to like and subscribe for more unique island tours and I'll see you next time. Bye!